Well, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back again, Behind the Ascent. What I'd like to get into today is actually talking about conflict and better ways to either manage or resolve and sometimes just actually initiate conflict. So let me tell you why I'm bringing this up. In one of my recent coaching sessions, the, the issue of conflict came up it's mainly around uh, some work things this individual was dealing with. And what they were really struggling with is finding their voice to be able to bring to the table some issues that they really felt needed to be addressed. However, they weren't comfortable or willing to risk the conflict that this might cause to actually bring it up within the work group. So this is what I want to talk about when you're in a work situation, family situation, friends, etc. It's you versus them. You're more of a face-to-face -face type scenario. So what I'm finding, what I'm hearing a lot more of is what I'm calling people being conflict averse or conflict aversion. I wanted to talk a little bit about reasons why conflict is actually necessary, right? Because when you really think about that, how else can we move ourselves forward and find resolution? And the main word that I really want to use when I talk about that is actually peace because on the other side of that conflict, once you do reach a point of getting it resolved, then you can find yourself in a place of true peace. Now, what's interesting about that is a lot of the times when you're having these discussions and conversations, it can be very uncomfortable. Things get heated, uh, some feelings may get hurt, some things may get said that you, know, you really didn't want to say or share, but those are the realities of what it takes to work your way through it. The reward on the other side is really what you want to get to. The last piece of it is when we talk about communication in general, because a lot of it, when we talk about conflict, much of it actually comes out of being miscommunicated with. You not understanding the other person's position, they not understanding yours, and figuring out a way to communicate so that now you under, have a better understanding of their perspective, why they feel what they feel and vice versa. So that should be your objective. And I always tell people when it comes to conflict and also communication, it's not about agreement. If you can reach agreement, excellent. That's an excellent place to get to. However, sometimes you just have to choose to disagree. So what you should be seeking is actually understanding in those scenarios, why the person feels what they feel, thinks what they think, acts the way that they act, what that might be rooted in and same for you. So they can understand who you are. That's the goal. That's the objective, not so much to reach agreement. So again, the key that I like to share there when we talk about conflict, it's actually necessary because on the other side of it is your peace and at least seek to understand what's going on. Maybe not agreement, understanding. So until the next behind the ascent, everyone take care and leave a comment below. If you can resonate with this, or if you had similar experiences or maybe some other ideas as to how we want to better address and deal with conflict. Until next time, take care, take care of each other. We'll see you soon.